Okay, thanks for coming. We, uh, live here. Right, so, find out anything about your ghost? Yeah! Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with, like, dread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out of work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What place were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Sure is, the historical society. You know you don't have to, like, break in. You don't have to do a B and E. The people there get paid to show it to you. Anyway. I'm in for the historical society. Awesome, crimes. So what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. Ooh, I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in Scouts. Perfect. Okay, I need to actually get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome. And also I'm scared to death. Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons. We have had our meeting. We are excited to go to bed because it is, it's time for more Night in the Woods. Also, it's 11 o'clock at night. I can jump in my own home. Dad cat, what's popping out here? Ugh. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The ugh. Yuppers. So, uh, you and I had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. We were. We are. We are. Just a bump. You two, always two alike. I guess. I got your chill and her smartassness. I just hate to see you two on the outs again. They'll be fine. We're cool. So we're having money problems? What? No, we're fine. Dad? May, it's fine. It's okay. I'm 20. I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Okay. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple of days. Yep, we don't even need to watch TV with him anymore because, well, we got the tooth. There is nothing else. You watch TV, you get a tooth. It's the law. This is a weirdly timed episode, all things considered, because we're going to bed right at the start. But first, anything going on online? Ah, good. People have things to say. Hey, mate. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map, and it's a pretty straight shot up to Possum Jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips hat. <laughs> hi. I, I couldn't not say hi to Sharkle. So I want to hang out with that. We still haven't played Demon Tower yet, and I want to hang out with Angie. And... But I want to hang out with all of my friends, and someone's going to have to fall by the wayside. Yo, I looked up the Historical Society on the internet. It's real old, but they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like Ghost Central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would actually be pee scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. With angers. Hey, let me know when you hit the <laughs> Let me know you want to hit the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week, having a stroke. I don't know, thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? Lol. <laughs> Bonus charcoal. So, that's the thing with this part of the game. And yes, May, it is indeed bedtime. I don't know who to hang out with. Because I want to spend time with Angus, because he's like... He is tonight in the woods what Nona is to Oxenfree. We never get a chance to hang out with him, and this is our big chance to do so in the third act. Then there's Greg, who we haven't hung out with enough, and B, who we've been spending a fair fuck of time with. Oh good, it's another one of these segments. So what I'm thinking is we'll hang out with Greg and Angus, because Greg is best boy, Angus is best boy, B is best girl, but we just fish, just went to the library with her, so... Much as I would like to see what's pop, lock, and dropping in the graveyard, we haven't really spent much time with the lads lately. 
Fish! So what's going on over here? Violinman. Hans Violinman. He was doomed to become a violinist from the moment he was born. Much like both parents before him and all four grandparents before them. Wait, hang on, wait a minute, that implies incest. If 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 both parents were violinmans is even before marriage, because all four of their grandparents were also violinmans. Tess Shut up. <laughs> Everything's wonky. It's like a metaphor or something. Everything is askew. But I'm the one asking the questions. So everything's ask me? No, that's even backwards. Up. Okay, that's that's a wall there. I swear that violin sounds ever so slightly like Estonia's Eurovision entry from last year, which I was listening to the instrumental version of that just earlier today, and like, it's a good instrumental. It's just a shame that the song as a whole is the way it is, just because it, it was overrated. Like, it was good, but overrated. A song can be both of those things. But this isn't really the time. Can I jump over that? I don't want to risk it. Hoot hoot. You know, that's the automatopoeia for playing the accordion. The accordions, they go hoot hoot. Like the trumpets, they go bwang. Ooh, there's another fox that you can probably not see because of video compression. Is that Greg doing a smonk? Just gonna jump on a chimney. Jump on a pump and launch the loo. That will make sense to literally no one apart from one personal friend of mine who I think isn't even watching this series because he doesn't want to spoil himself on this game. So, that was a complete waste of breath on my part, but then again, so is most of my commentary. See for reference, the Violinman Incest Conspiracy, which, were it not for YouTube's advertiser-friendly policies, I might entitle this episode such thusly with the that. Ha. Huh. See my previous statement of shut up, Tess. Boink. Okay. Also, Boink. Can we bring Boink back? Because that was a thing when I did Portal 2 Cop that I've been rewatching with my mother lately, and that was good times. Now, are we going to die? What's going to kill us this time? I, I would say, are we going to die? Of course we're going to die. Oh! Fish, bird, bird, fish. Fish, bird, bird, fish, apple fish. And the bird didn't even touch us if we died this time. Just shows that our mental state is deteriorating. Alas, a lack, and a lay. Good morning, May. Although it's probably mid-afternoon at the absolute earliest, and just pay no mind to the fact that we had a different morning noise this time, because it's normally the brrrr, but this time it's more of a bloopy doopy doop Sharkle? <coughs> B, are you still asleep? Last night inspired me. For longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. Don't remember my taste this morning. Like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash out with whatever's in the cooler. Away message. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Fair. And rising sea levels will increase shark attack frequency for obvious reasons. I'm okay with this. Now would be a really good time for us to do a bonus episode dedicated to Demon Tower, and that's just not gonna happen. I will do bonus episode covering it. But that's that's all I can promise. Can we talk to Trash Bird? We can talk to Trash Bird. No relation to Trash Pigeon. Hey Bird. Sorry I'm always rude to you. I still find it weird that we're a family of cats who have a pet bird that isn't anthropomorphized. Is that just me? Mom cat! <laughs> Morning sunshine! You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, yeah, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. We have a bathroom? Yeah, I am. They're kinda working. Kinda not. Well, maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than the ten hours or so you already get. You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. What'd you do last night? Went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was. Weird. Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy. You really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. See, I can relate to this. When I do my live streams, that's like my version of going out and hanging with friends. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. But before we buy, before we must have to go, nice and sunny today. I hate rainy days. Just wanna never leave bed. I love them. Nice and gray. Sun's too bright sometimes. Need some cloudies. All right, I'm out. Bye bye, sweetie. 
Oh, but we, we could have so many more conversations about unsolvable murders. Because, once again, healthy relationship. But anyway, what's diddly doodling in the tiddly town today? Can we go this way yet? Surprisingly, yes! I feel like an Animal Crossing player six days into their new town, where stuff is still just barely pop lock and opening up. Farming. I could farm. If I stay in town long enough, I could see getting into the farm life. Like Stardew Valley. The problem with farms is the amount of poop. Like, even if you don't have animals, you actually buy poop or something and shovel it all over the place. It's madness. It's poop madness. And it does stink. As someone who has lived in the vicinity of farm, it stinks. Just living somewhere even remotely semi-rural, it's just it's a very stinky time. Well, this is nice. So, is something gonna happen, or are we just gonna sit and spin? You know, sit and spin. Why, why do I say that? Whenever we sit on something, it's always sit and spin. Well, that was nice and relaxing. Completely meaningless, but a bridge freezes before road. What does that even mean? Like, is that a regular sign that you see in the Americas? After this, a few miles and you go under the highway, and it's just rolling fields and farms. I missed the corn mazes this autumn, and the haunted barn in Briddle. Always next year, the campfires and corn dogs. <laughs> You're not lost, you're here. Weird that town ends like, bam, right here. There's like a line, somewhere, that no one can see, but you could put it on a map. That is pretty much how cartography works, yes. Let's just walk across the bridge the unsafe way. In fact, maximum safelessness. Can I jump down? Can I jump down from here? Apparently not. The bridge says mint on it, but you can't even see because video compression. Or maybe you can. I don't know. Maybe I should have more faith in my video compression. -y. At some point, I'll look into making that better, but I don't really see... Like, I, I took a preliminary look at that, and nothing appeared to be forthcoming with it, so I don't know. Well, at least Mr. Twigvire isn't harassing us today. He says, even though that only happened one time. Not even once, but one time. I wonder how many conversations we're missing on the street below. I know I've wondered this before, because like the street's down there, and we're just bouncing over the top of it. There's roof guy who's never on the roof. Mr. Chazkov's not around because it's not the right day. I play a mean banjo. Claw hammer. Really? I play bass. We should play together sometime. You know Long Black Veil? Yep. You know Tom Dooley? Yep, my dad likes that stuff. You know Willow Garden? Nope. Yeah. Well, how dare I? Hey, Selmus, you were great last night. Aw, oh, thanks. Having you to bounce ideas off helped. I am good for that. Wanna hear a new poem? Hell yes. After last time, you are on a roll, my dude. This is a short one. Because I'm tired. Me too. So, that works out. Ahem. I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before, too. It's crazy making. What were you doing at the library, by the way? I go to the library. No, but seriously. Crocodile. Eyes. Those sure were things you could say. And there's a pigeon with no eyes. Well, eyes, but no eyes. Pupils, but no... Sclerai, but no pupils. There we go. And I just genuinely had a moment there. Well, as ever, we're positively blitzing through today's town segment. So... Well, let's switch things up and go straight up to the church first. Why the flelf not? For here there be churchies. Pastor Salami, are you around? Does this door ever do anything? Momcat, are you in business? Can we wag some chins, not even necessarily our own? Can we say the sooth together? Is that how that works? I don't religion. But yes, Pastor Salami, are you in here? Are you out by the Bruce? This room is surprisingly useless. That's not even a commentary on religion, it's just... We had one conversation here about once, and that was about it. About, about, about. Anyway, Momcat, what's the diddly do with yiddly you? Hey, you free? Maybe. Wanna go on a quick adventure? Don't you have a job? Past is gone, I'm gonna skip out. You naughty girl! Let's skip work! Only I'm skipping work, hun. Oh, hush. I'm an accessory to the crime. Also, not a crime, sweetie. I mean, it kind of is. You're sort of abandoning your post. How dare you? I don't think I've ever been up here. We used to come here all the time. Did we? 
No, we as in my friends and I when we were your age. Oh, okay. I'm not used to you using any other Wii's. Believe it or not, I've had several Wii's. Stop! <laughs> huh. Oh, we could actually meander through the woods. Well, woods. This is nice. They're not even woods, it's grass. Used to be a lot more trees around up here. Okay, it used to be woods. They got cut down when they put in the towers. I don't remember that. You know, all kinds of things happened before you were born. What? Some minor parts of history took place, yes. Seems like the sort of place where there'd be just holes under the grass, but then this is as someone who spent a lot of time in rural Yorkshire. So, what is this place? Jenny's Field. Ever heard of it? No, I don't think. Back in the 30s, there was this woman and her daughter walking here, and the woman's daughter is in front of her, and then she's just gone, like disappeared. What happened? Turns out there was a sinkhole that opened up, when a pillar collapsed in the mines in the hill. Jeez. Yep, no one could see it because the cr Okay. Not what I was thinking of. I was thinking of, like, those heather fields where they just grow all willy-nilly over holes, but this is a man-made hole. Her name was Jenny. This is Jenny's field. They never found her. Just... Gone. So, wait, why are we here? Why are you not up for a little risk-taking? I'm just gonna jump, then, if that's quite alright with you. Come on, Momcat. Ah! What's wrong? I thought it was... Sink coal. Hmm, how about that? Hmm. Can I keep jumping and fall into more holes? Ooh. Okay, what is that? For some reason, before Unified pulled out, they brought this old lime furnace up on the mountain. Why? Who knows? Unified did a lot of things. It looks like it's been here forever. It's just sunk into the ground a lot. Like Jenny. But slower. We used to climb up there. Wanna try? <laughs> oh, sweetie. I had you and also a lot of birthdays and donuts since then, and not much climbing. Well, I can still do it, because look at me, I know I can identify dark coloured bricks and jump straight to the top, bop 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 to the top, slip and slide and ride this coaster. So, uh, good thing this chimney is sealed up here. <laughs> yeah, good thing. What can you see up there? It's been a while. Uh, Possum Springs and most of the valley. The highway. What does it look like? <laughs> a river but made of concrete. <laughs> a snake, but like made of concrete. Big snake. Big snake. Big snake. I got bitten by a snake up here once, actually. I haven't heard this story. Yeah, it was a copperhead. Jumped out from under a log. My boyfriend at the time, Charlie, he was such a sweetie. Tried to suck the snake poison from the bite on my leg. Wow, that's a good boyfriend. His mouth went numb and he suffered some tissue damage. And I still have to go to the hospital. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't suck poison from snake bites, sweetie. Right. It doesn't work. I got that impression. I remember I couldn't tell if being up there made everything feel bigger or smaller. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, I know that one. I used to have a dream when I was your age, when I was in the big car park out by the tracks, and I'd start running, but there was always more car park. Huh. What do you think it meant? I don't know. Feels weird to tell you what your dreams mean. Why? You're my mom. Fair. Why did we come up here today? Well, I was hoping you'd fall into a sinkhole, obviously. That didn't work out. Drat. I guess I'll just have to keep you. I couldn't see what your expression was when you said that. Do you need to? No. What a healthy relationship. Well, see you at home. Hey! Got an achievement for that, apparently. Jenny's Field. The Field of the Jenny. Jenny Rater. She rates things on a scale of 1 to 10. Uh, how lovely. And we also have a, a good... End slate fodder. Now, what's going on up here? Because that took up a surprising chunk of this episode. So anyway, is Pastor Salami out here? Is Bruce out here? Are the teens back? We still need to keep an eye out for their pentacle grams. Getting kind of cold, huh? Yeah, nip in the air at night. I like autumn when it gets cold. Or, I like fall when it gets cold. Like the temperature goes down, my legs stop working, poof, face first onto the concrete. Me too. Real pretty out as well. I used to cry at autumn trees when I was a kid. Why? Because they were so pretty. Huh, I did that when my daughter was born. You have a daughter? Yep. Where is she? Sorry. It's fine. So, we don't talk about it, or is she dead, or just otherwise not incapacitated? You're not, Greg! Hey, Jen. 
Hey, May Brofsky? Yeah? What are you doing back here? Does Greg know you're back? Nah, uh -huh. just here for a day. Now to pick some stuff up from Greg's mom. Hauling back to school tonight. Ah. Didn't you go to school? What are you doing here? Same as you, just back for a day. We're lying! I didn't even realize until I... What school did you end up going to? Der Killersburg. Ah. You're out in Bright Harbor, right? Yeah. How's that? Good. Expensive, but good. You still go crossbow hunting? Greg used to have a crossbow too, I think. Yeah, I still hunt rabbits and stuff. Nothing big. Don't get much chance at school. And I was shooting at that tree over there. Ah, I see the arrows. Then I noticed there was a dude sleeping behind it. So I stopped. Oh yeah, that's Bruce. He's nice. Well, I'm just glad I didn't accidentally put a bolt in his face. Oh yeah, that'd be bad. Well, it was nice seeing you. You still see Greg sometimes? Oh, you know, just when I'm home, sometimes. Well, tell that cousin of mine he needs to come see me out of Bright Harbor. Oh, uh, yeah, will do. He's not leaving here. Oh, I don't know, I think he should. Guy's gotta spread his wings. Maybe his wings are just fine here. Nah, Greg's too much for this town. Heh <laughs> no argument there. See ya. Take it easy. Greg's cousin okay, as opposed to Greg's cousin is okay. See, now that's also Ed Slate fodder, because we, we met Jen. I believe that Jen is only present in the Weird Autumn update of the game, which I don't know when that was introduced, but that's the version I'm playing, so that's why she's here. Anyway. I suppose I did pace the previous episode kind of weirdly, because we had like a, a long episode, and then I ended it abruptly before a short cutscene that started this episode, and we've kind of had half the day anyway, so... This kind of worked out okay, so that being said, all things unexpected and considerably diddly boo. I can't words anymore, so that's a good sign that I should say that I have been and will continue to be Tesla Hexagons, and I shall see you in the next episode, whenever that may be.